Hi, I'm Eric Siegel with Eric'sTrains.com, and today we're going to be looking at an O-Scale Master Series GP35 diesel engine from Atlas. Atlas has been making the O-Scale GP35 since around 2003. This DT&I version was made in 2010. Now, as I said, this is part of Atlas's Master Series, which means it's a top-of-the-line, highly detailed O-Scale model. The GP35 was a four-wheel truck road switcher that was manufactured by EMD from 1963 until 1966, and in total they made a little over 1,300 of them. The GP35 can easily fit into any layout that's modeling any time from the mid-1960s all the way up until today, because originally on Class 1 railroads, they were in service all the way up until the early 90s, and even today some of them are still in service on short lines and regional railroads. All of the Atlas GP35s feature road name specific details, and that means that depending on which road name you purchase, you'll get different configurations. You may get a low hood like this, or a high hood. The headlight may be a different configuration, and it may be in a different location. The horn may be in a different location, and even the fans back here may be a different configuration. Atlas puts all sorts of little nuances into their engine like that to create a very detailed model. A lot of other companies do road name specific details as well, but in my opinion, Atlas does the best job at doing it all the time. They are very attentive to every little detail on their engines, and it's what makes Atlas engines, in my opinion, some of the most detailed models on the market. So let's talk about the details on this model. They're fairly typical for what you would find on a high-end O-scale engine. On the underside, you've got die-cast trucks, pilots, and a die-cast fuel tank. The pilots are very nicely detailed with drainage holes in the steps, coupler cut bars, and MU hoses. On the front pilot, you have a plow, and on the rear pilot, there are running boards. Now, if you want to put running boards on the front pilot as well, you can do that because there are separately packaged running boards that come with the engine when you buy it, and all you would do is detach the plow and attach the running board. The trucks are very nicely detailed, as is typical for Atlas O, and the fuel tank is also well done. Up on top, we've also got lots of nice details, including the drawbridge-style deck plate that swings down like that. We've got safety tread on the deck. We've got a little safety chain there. Separately apply grab irons all over the place. Operating marker lights, as well as lighted number boards and a headlight right here. On the cab, we've got separately applied windshield wipers, as well as separately applied and moving windscreens on the side of the cab. Moving back, the body has really nice molded in details. All of the latch details and seams are very nicely done. The Vent screens are not see-through, but they are very deeply recessed, so they look really nice. On the back of the engine, once again, we've got the deck plate that swings down like that, a little safety chain, operating marker lights, operating number boards, and a backup light. And up on top, we've got a separately applied horn, lots of separately applied lift rings, an operating smoke unit, and three fans on the back. I want to take just a second to talk about the fans. You know, whenever I buy a new diesel engine, one of the little fun things I like to test is how freely the blades and the fans spin when you blow on them. Because on some models they're fixed and they don't spin at all, and on other models they go the extra step of making the fan blades actually spin when you blow on them. And to me it's just a symbol of the quality of craftsmanship that went into the engine. And without fail, Atlas always has fans that spin really well. So what I'll do is I'll take a little air duster and blow it on there and you can see how well these blades spin. Now, it's really not that important if the fan blades spin or not. It doesn't make or break an engine, but it's just one of the fun little things that I always look for. Just one of the little nuances that you check just to say, hey, I wonder if they took the time to make these fan blades spin, and Atlas always does. This engine comes with two flywheel motors, and on each truck you've got two traction tires, and then there are two pickup rollers on each truck as well. This engine comes equipped with Lionel's TMCC command system as well as Rail Sounds 4, and it can also be operated conventionally if you so desire. Okay, and finally, let's go over some raw stats for this engine. The overall length is 13 and a half inches. The weight is 5 pounds 5 ounces. The tractive effort or pulling power is 1 pound 6 ounces. And the minimum curve you'll want to run this engine on is 036. So now let's go ahead and power this engine up and you can see it in action.
So that about wraps it up for this review. If you're interested in purchasing one of these engines, they retail for just under $500, and you can get one from your local Atlas dealer or by contacting Atlas directly. You can get to them on the web at www.atlaso.com or by phone at 908-687-9590, extension 7118. Anyway, that's about it for now. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time.